This chapter details the sequence of operation of water circulation during the brew cycle. It's critical that water entering the machine comply with these parameters. Any deviation from these standards will negatively impact the coffee's flavor. When a product is selected by pressing the corresponding button on the keypad, the brew chamber moves from idle position to grinding position. Once the brew chamber is in grinding position, the grinder 1 triac closes if regular coffee is selected, or grinder 2 triac closes if decaffeinated coffee is selected. The closed triac turns on the grinder motor for a preset amount of time. Ground coffee enters the brew chamber as the mill turns, and agitation of the coffee beans is visible from above. After approximately 14 grams of ground coffee enters the brew chamber, if a double espresso is selected, the grinder 1 triac opens, turning off the grinder motor. Next, the brew chamber moves into press position, causing the grounds to be stamped into a puck cake. On the power management board, the water pump triac closes when it's signaled to do so by the CPU. The closed water pump triac sends the signal to energize the water pump, which is mounted on a wall under the machine. The energized water pump then pushes water at 9.5 bar through the following path. Through the brew valve side of the hydraulic module water pathway, through the chassis water connector, and then through the mechanical module water pathway. As water is pumped through the system, the flow meter on the hydraulic module measures the water needed for the recipe. The flow meter then tells the CPU when to open the water pump triac, which cuts off power to the water pump. After the water pump turns off, the brew chamber drives forward slightly to press after position, squeezing the puck cake and extracting the last of the espresso from the grounds. After extracting the last of the espresso from the grounds, the 24 VDC motor moves the brew chamber to home position, closing the micro switch. The 24 VDC motor then moves the brew chamber to drop cake position, which is slightly forward of home. This movement dislodges the puck cake, letting it dump into a grounds drawer. If you listen carefully, you can hear the quick thump into the grounds drawer. After 50 shots, the machine locks and a message indicates the grounds drawer needs emptying. Finally, the 24 VDC motor returns to the home position, which depresses the arm on the micro switch and shuts off power to the 24 VDC motor 